makes dumb jokes while he shoots his guns. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Hey, how y'all doing? Thanks for joining me again. All right, let's uh, walk through some more Skyrim on Legendary Difficulty. And fair warning, some of this will be self-indulgent. Starting with raping and pillaging Fort Greymoor because um, I got embarrassed demonstrating uh, master destruction spells. Let's start out with a little Thunderbolt. And let's start out with getting you. Yeah. Hey, you want some too? Got him. <laughs> okay, here they come. Yeah, get them. Get them. <laughs> he says as he's completely stagger locked. Yep, that's my best. Sorry, I couldn't do better. Seriously. And where is uh, I'm relenting for us? Let's look that up. Uh, Luke. Yeah. Yeah. Running away, eh? Dude! Dude! Oh, man! I'm sorry, that was worth it, Mr. Burns. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Okay, who? What, what, what? Stop that! Down you go! Seriously! Okay, what? You too? Yeah, you want some? Get some! Huh? Get some! Get some electrifying shit! Yeah, I'm gonna electrify your ass! Get some! Oh, you want some too? Didn't learn from watching your friend go down, eh? Down you go. Okay, now it's your turn. Get that. Get that, boy. Uh. Zappy, zappy. Ah, oh, dude. I love it. Jeez. Lightning storm. <laughs> Come on. You feel better, Slack? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, now. Um, for us over really interrupted. You know what I want to do? I would like to uh, go on a night chase slash glowing mushroom run because I've run out of fortified destruction potions. And before we take on the next College of Winter quest containment, um, I'd like to have a bunch of those potions in my possession. So let's go on the night chase run first. Uh, that starts with going to Hamburger's Rest. We'll get eight there. Then we'll get eight more in Fockreath. And then we'll get five more in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, which is not marked on the map because we didn't do that quest. Uh, during this run and then we'll get six more um, at the back door of the Thieves Guild and that will equal 29 Nightshade all right after that we can collect a whole bunch of glowing mushroom at Lost Echo Cave right there 23 glowing mushroom and finally mix Nightshade and glowing mushroom to make up 23 fortified destruction potions that's the plan let's do it start off with Hamvir's Rest and a good uh, vantage point. Let's just go to Hamfier's Rest with a bleak wind basin. No, then no, no, right there. Okay. No, 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 lucky. Don't get the. I hate when he does this. See, this is why I like to. I prefer to fast travel to Dustman's Cairn. This way, it keeps the horse out of the way. What did I call you? Lucky or midnight? Midnight. You stay there. Okay. Now. Yeah. Where's your buddies? Got two dots on the radar here. There it gets them. Hey Bones, how you doing? Looking a little thin today. Did you eat your Wheaties this morning? And there's always the Draugr boss here. Hi there. You know what I should do? Start leveling up destruction. There you go. Go get him, Mr. Spanky. No, no. Wait, what? Uh oh, no, you didn't. Where's my command, Daedra? You. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. <laughs> Got your Frost Antronach. Ha ha! You get, a, you get a time out. Okay, now, where's Mr. Spanky? I don't have enough magica. Do I have any magical potions? 
No, I do not. I'm just going to have to wait. Okay. Well, give it to him there, Frosty. Come on. Okay, while you're making up your mind who your master is, I'm going to give this guy a spanking. He had the nerve to... Did he, like, spawn another one? I think he did. Okay, I'll deal with you guys in a minute. Look at this. Oh, great. Frost Astronaut fight. Cool. Who won? Did mine win? Way to go. <laughs> Slack rolls. <laughs> I think it's time for Mr. Burns. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Okay. So, what did I say? Six? Actually, there's eight. Eight. Nightshade. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Uh oh. Hmm, I got out of I got out of my routine here. Here we go. Eight. Okay, there we go. Now, Fock Reef. Ten more nightshade there. Oops, I talked during the load screen. Okay. Now we have to leave the load screen in. Because of course everything that comes out of my mouth is pure gold, so I can't edit that out, right? For shame. <laughs> Conceded my <much> slack? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, let's wait till morning. It's a lot easier to see the nightshade in the morning as long as it's not overcast and rainy. Hint, hint. Dang it. Wait an hour. Okay, we're going to have to deal with this. Okay. Now, the Nightshade is in and around the Hall of the Dead. There's four in front. Let's get some running juice here. One. It's a lot harder to see during on a cloudy day, too. Strangers like Yeah, don't, don't focus. If they're off my focus. Three. And here we go, got four. Okay, those are the hard ones. Okay, and there's six more behind the Hall of the Dead. That building is the Hall of the Dead. Start off on the left side here. Go back to the gravestones and just work your way that way. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. So now we have 18, Nightshade. Whoops, that was Mr. Fumblefingers. Let's collect um, five more. Uh, around the entrance to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, which we haven't discovered yet, but I know exactly where it is. Just travel west out of Falkery, and then turn, like, hook around to the north. And when you get going north, look for a little path on the right. There's the path on the right. Go down that little path. Get off right about here. I already did this nightshade run in El on another video. Yeah, there should be one right here. One. I missed one. Two. Three. Four. And one over here. Five. Here we go. So we're up to 23. Um, six more. Whoops. That was Mr. Fumblefingers. In front of the back door to the Thieves, Good, Th Thieves Guild. rather. These are easy to find. One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. So that's the nightshade run. 29 nightshade. Easy peasy, nice and easy. Okay, let's go get some glowing mushroom. We can collect an easy 23 glowing mushroom at Lost Echo Cave. You can collect 23 glowing mushroom without having to go into combat in the first part of the cave. As I pointed out earlier. And if you want to easily collect them, just go for like they're always in the shape of the V. So go to the bottom of the V, the big mushroom at the bottom of the V, and there you can get you always get to like the harvest prompts. Okay, two, three. This is pretty routine, so I'm gonna do this off camera. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I actually ended up first time ever. I came up with 24 glowing mushrooms. That's my record in the first part of the game. Okay, I don't worry, I got the extra one, but yeah, okay, so did pretty good. Let's head back to the college and crank out a whole bunch of potions. Yeah, 
and we're on our home turf so we don't need our battle gear on so let's crank on the old master gear master jacket master hat master mitts master necklace ring and boots and how about uh yeah that'll work a little whirlwind sprint I also want to make a whole bunch of power potions, so let's uh, put on our extra carry-all gear, which would happen to be the merchant's ring, and uh, yeah, that's it. Grab all the ingredients, get those on board. Very good. Make the power potions first. I'm overloaded, but that's okay. I'm right in front of the alchemy al alchemy lab, rather. Okay, power potions. Got a little list here. Working off the list of power potions in my ebook. Uh, check out my ebook at the end of the video. Um, starting with bear bear claws, canis, and spider bear claws, canis root, spider egg. I'm not going to hit the skill, I've leveled up and I'm not going to hit the skills menu just yet because I want to do some skill training. I want to purchase some conjuration skill training. Next is Canis Root Hanging Moss and Spider Eggs. Canis Root Hanging Moss and Spider Egg. Next, of course, Nordic and Vampire. You can only make one of those. Nordic Barnacle and Vampire Dust. Next, Blue Mountain Flower, Blue Butterfly Wing, and Giant Toe. Typically I wouldn't make these because no one could afford them, but since we're going to be doing some uh, expensive skill training, um, the Merchant Trainer will be able to afford them. So Blue Mountain Flower, Blue Butterfly Wing, and Giant's Toe. I should be able to make three of those. Hey, look at that, 3,000 smackaroos. Next, how about a little bit of dragon, old oh, favorite dragon's tongue fly, I'm gonna eat a, a more tapanella. Should be able to make four of those because it's got four mora. <laughs> and uh, death pile, salt pile, and taproot. You can only make one of those because they only got one taproot. And finally, another old favorite death pile, jazz bait grapes. And salt pile. What does it say? Death pile? Death bell. Jazz bay grapes. And salt pile. Crank out a whole bunch of those. You what? He's dead, no? And I am too heavy to hurry up. Oh, yeah, let's put on the merchant's ring. That'll fix it. Merchant's ring, there we go. Put all the ingredients back into the cupboard in a room. I'll just cast a spell of fast dash. Done and done. What's our weight like? 181, not bad. Is there anything we can stash, get rid of, etc.? I can sell that. Should be able to sell that. This ain't worth a damn. It's not worth bringing along. Stash those arrows. I don't need the dreaded pickaxe for now. Let's stash it just to save on weight. I don't need this for now either. Save on weight. And we're good. Okay, so. 
Round up to the nearest multiple of 10, which would be 160. 380 minus 160 equals 220. So we can take, take on 22 dwarven bows. Enchanted, that is. 3, 12, 10. That'll do it. What are you doing, Zach? I'm going to go off to visit Valian. See, Finn is here in the Hall of Countenance, who is our local conjuration trainer. Can't train us anymore. He's only a an expert trainer. Whereas Falion in Morthal is a master trainer. He can take us all the way up to 90. And we have Conjuration currently at 80. So he can take us the rest of the way right now. Let's go do it. Hey guys, want to build the kick butt destruction tank mage? You see me using it in this video? Well, you can get the entire walkthrough in ebook format. Skyrim Legendary Made Easy, the quick and dirty dark elf build. This includes a complete step by step game plan to produce a destruction tank mage made for legendary difficulty gameplay. Also, exclusive bonus content. The Alchemist Business Model Power Start. How to become filthy rich in Skyrim using my special list of power potion recipes. More bonus content. So you like to cheat, do you? The Eager Eddie Exploit build will show you how to use Skyrim exploits to create a ridiculously overpowered conjuration mage in under 3 hours. Fully tested in the latest Skyrim patch. All this in an easy to read, easy to navigate 160 page ebook. Skyrim Legendary Made Easy, the quick and dirty dark elf build. Buy it now for only $9.99. All purchases are processed by the 100% secure world-renowned PayPal payment processor.